Hi, I'm Jo. For the next 30 minutes, I'm going to give you a taster of my wellness workout. You'll get a new workout every single week and it will incorporate my 30 years within the fitness industry, dare I say that. So it will incorporate fitness, yoga and Pilates. So push back the sofa or if you're doing the kitchen or your bedroom and let's get started. Throughout my 30 minutes, I'm going to give you some of my favorite exercises, but I'm going to talk all the way through it to tell you about what will be involved in this wellness club. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a Pilates roll down, which really is beautiful for the articulation of the spine. Through the weeks as well, you'll always see that I'll fiddle with my hair. So we're going to start with your feet just hip width apart and you want the weight through the base of the big toe, base of the little toe, and the base of the heel. You want the arms to hang really heavy, and you really want to feel the feet into the floor, sucker the feet into the floor, and grow from the floor. Find energy out through the crown of the head, so you're radiating energy up, and you're really just grounding into the floor. From here, we're just gonna take a nice inhale, full and wide, and as you exhale, we're gonna gently take the chin towards the chest, and we're gonna just start to roll down. Now you can have the knees a little bit soft if you want to, a little bit bent. Find the heaviness into the arms, release those facial muscles and the jawline. As we get older we don't like to do that because I can't see now, my cheeks have gone over my eyes. I take an inhale and as you exhale you start to again restack through the spine vertebra by vertebra all the way back up. Inhale again, exhale, start to peel it down. Again, we can see how we're moving, whether we're doing this in the morning or the evening. Just really begin to understand your own body. Find out the articulation of the spine, where you might be a little bit stiff. And again, start to restack through the spine, vertebra by vertebra, all the way back up. It doesn't matter how far you go down. It's just really for you to understand, again, that articulation of the spine and getting a little bit of length into the back line of the body. So you might feel that into the calf backs of the calves, into the hamstrings, backs of the thighs, the lower back, the mid back, or even the upper back. So we're going to restack. As you've restacked, I'm just going to get a little bit of warmth into the shoulders now. So I'm just giving you just a tiny little snippet of some of the exercises that I'll be introduced. And each week, we're going to change the exercises and we might work with some equipment as well. You might not like some of the equipment. And then we're gonna take the whole arm up and I'm gonna spiral around and I'm gonna to look towards the arm. So again, lifting up and releasing. And again, and again, it doesn't matter how far we lift that arm up. I will talk through some injuries. I will give you different exercises for different things. If we can't do certain things, I'll give you alternatives. Then what I want you to do is I want you to bring that arm forward into a bow and arrow. I want you to maintain the pelvis stays completely silent. You're gonna bring the elbow back. I want you to look to that arm and you're gonna extend it. And then you're gonna sweep it forward. Again, we're gonna bring the elbow back. You're gonna extend it. When you do that, when you extend the arm, again, I want you to find a little bit of tone into your mid back. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the technicalities in this taster session, because that will come within the weeks, because as my classes and clients will tell you, I do like to chat. And then we're gonna circle the arm around. We're always in these weekly sessions. It'll be really nice for you to get to know me. You can um, also, tell me things that you, um, exercises that you would like to see. So again, I'm here for you. It's like having a weekly class with me. So my weekly clients and classes, it will be like that for you. And hopefully you'll enjoy it. And then we're going to take the arm back, inhale. We can spiral around the body. Again, inhale up. So we're just warming up the joint complex. We're just getting that synovial fluid again, nice and warm. We're gonna do just one more. So we're preparing the shoulders. We're gonna take that arm forward. We're gonna bring the elbow back, keep the pelvis nice and silent, extend the arm and sweep it back. Keep the shoulders away from the ears as we do this and you sweep it back. You can give me feedback as well each week of what you think of the exercises, only if it's good feedback. And then you extend, and then we do one more, bending, extending, sweeping back. I then want you to bring both arms up. Double bow and arrow, pull the elbows back, fine tone into your mid back, extend the arms out, then let's get flexion into the spine. Inhale, 
and exhale round. So it's all about moving. And these half hour weekly sessions will really become part of your life. You'll really, hopefully again, want to enjoy them and think every single week, oh, I've got a new session with Joe. fantastic. Or on the harder sessions, not so fantastic. And then just one more. And then we're gonna hold the arms out there. I love standing arm work because I really feel it works and really gives tone to those upper arms. From here, I want you to find tone into your mid back and we're gonna circle the arms around. Hold a little bit of tone into your abdominals as well and lengthen again up through the crown of the head. Find length a little bit through the chest and work it into your mid back. From there, I want you to rotate the palms up and then I want you to rotate the palms back. Rotate the palms up and rotate those palms back. Find the length. So again, we're really concerned with working into the upper arm, working into your mid-back, working those postural muscles into that mid-back. We're gonna hold it there. What I want you to do now is draw the arms down. And I want you to hinge slightly forward, working into the triceps. Lengthen through the arms and then raise the arms up. Now, really be concerned here. You don't want a roundedness in the shoulders. You want to open out the shoulder line so we're not impinging through the shoulder and find length the whole time. Keep those arms really straight and strong. Then from here, raise the arms up and lower. I can feel that straight away. So I really want you to feel that in the upper arm, into the tricep. The tricep has three insertions to it. We need to work the tricep differently each time. The tricep muscle, back of the arm, gives the upper arm beautiful definition, but very important for pushing ourselves out of a chair, out of the bath as we get older. I work this muscle a lot with my clients that are in their 80s. And then we're gonna hold it there. And we're gonna do tiny little pulses. Don't forget about the abdominals. Draw the navel back towards the spine. On eight, I can feel this. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold it there. Rotate the palms to face one another and raise and lower and raise and lower again, raising up and lower. Four more, four and down, three and down. You'll also see me sweat through these weeks. Two more, last one and heavy breathing, tiny little repeaters, but 10, nine, especially with a microphone right near my mouth on eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold it up there. Make fists with the hands, pump the fists in towards one another. And we just pump, 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 pump. Keep working through it on 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it down, fantastic. I love to work with different variations of squat. So I'm just gonna do the plie squat with you today, the squat with you. And so we're going to just take the hands on to the hips and um, we're just going to look down and we're, we're going to make sure, again, I'm going to give more technicalities through the weekly sessions, but the knee tracking the second toe. We're really going to be working into our buttocks. I'm very much into bottoms. We've got to work the glutes to release the lumbar spine, lengthen up through the spine. So a beautiful functional move, the plie squat. As you go down, you're going to bend the knees. I want you to press into your heels to lift up, but the movement is down, but your spine is long. You have to resist the floor the whole time. Keep thinking about that top line as you go down. And I really want you to think about working from your seat. So from the crease of your button, when you go down, think that it's lifting up. So we find that beautiful buoyancy in the buttocks, really working into the gluteals and we come up. Sometimes in classes, I'll always say, when we go down, it's almost like you're picking a daisy out of the floor. So you want some to find the tone into the glutes, but don't squeeze the glutes. Gently find that tone as you come up. We're gonna do two more, and we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna go down and you're gonna do tiny little repeaters. So through the different weeks, the different wellness workouts, I'm gonna do loads of variations in this squat positions. A normal squat, lunges, lunges with weights. So you're gonna get a complete variation just to push us. And I always say this in classes, but all the time you want to make sure that we vary the exercises to challenge ourselves and to challenge the instructor, making up different exercises each week, which I do do anyway in my normal classes. And my clients will tell you, I never do the same class again. And then we're gonna do five, four, 
three, you can hear that it's also a little bit cardiovascular because you can start to hear that I'm getting a little bit out of breath. You've probably done enough of them in this tater session. And then we're just gonna hold it. And then we're gonna raise back up. We're gonna walk the feet in and we're gonna do a roll down into a plank. But again, in the weekly um, wellness workouts, we might wanna go into four point kneeling instead of a plank, but I'm gonna show you a plank for today. The feet are just hip width apart, and again, we just lengthen up through the spine. I'm gonna take a nice inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna peel it down again, scooping out the tummy. The whole time, I'm concerned of gently drawing the navel back to the spine. It's like when you walk past a shop window and you look sideways and you think, oh my God. And so you just gently suck it in. So from here, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Suck it in. We're gonna plant the hands into the floor, that beautiful, of support. I'm thinking of energy again through the crown of my skull and through my tailbone. Again, I'm not going to go into too many technicalities today. I will in future weeks where we don't want to dip and we don't want to lift up. Again, I'm engaging my center. From here, I'm going to go back into my A. So again, from here, again, in future weeks, I will explain about this, where we're radiating energy from the armpits, strong through the hands. Again, I'm just going to give us a little few ideas here. From this plank position, I would do loads of variation. But if you never like plank, we can come down in our four point kneeling and we can also do the same thing. So from here, I'm just going to go into a cat. Again, articulation of the spine. Inhaling as you exhale, you tuck the tailbone under, you round up through the spine, and then you disperse the crown of the head and the tailbone at the same time. I always see this as a beautiful wave of the spine. It's undulating up into the crescendo, and then it's dissipating back into the ocean. We're holding a little bit of tone into the abdominals as we do this, as we gently come up and as you gently release. So beautiful flexion of the spine. We're going to do that just once more and then we're just going to release. Again, as I just said, we're going to work the glutes. We're going to work with every single part of our bodies in the weeks to come. For this particular exercise, I'm going to work into the glutes, into the buttocks. You're going to extend your right leg and tuck the toes under. You're going to bring your left shin across the midline, making sure the pelvis is nice and level. I want you to feel this into your buttock. The buttock is lifting the leg and the hamstring, the back of the thigh. So we're going to lift the leg up and you're gonna lower it down. Now again, I tend to think, I, I have funny little sayings all the time, I think as everyone does, and when I'm doing these, I think, like to think of analogies. Here I think of a balloon. So if we have a beautiful inflated balloon, it's gonna float up from the floor. If the balloon is deflated, it's just gonna stay soggy on the floor. So inflate the glute, find the tone into the buttock when you lift it and when you lower it. You don't want to feel any movement in your lower back. You want to maintain that the back stays in its neutral position. And again, I will explain all these things. We're gonna hold it up there. We're gonna do tiny little repeaters. The shoulders are away from the ears on eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it there. You're gonna take the leg out to the side and pull it back in. So again, a variation of that basic move as you take it out and you pull back in. We're gonna do three more and in, two more and in. Last one and in. And then we're gonna release it down. So from these exercises, there is loads of variations, which I will go through them all. We're gonna extend the opposite leg, so let's just make sure that we're even. And then we're just gonna lift the leg. Again, I'm gonna bring that left shin slightly across the midline. It's not textbook, but I find it works because it stabilizes the pelvis, which makes the pelvis a little bit more, otherwise you tend to tip a little bit. And again, lifting lowering, drawing the navel back towards the spine as you lift and as you lower, definitely getting warmer and lower. You can hear my breath as well. And again, let's do four more and down. Three more and down. We think about our skeletal alignment, our skeleton alignment the whole time. We're lengthening, we're engaging navel to spine. We're not sinking down into the arms, just two more. We're gonna hold it up there again, tiny little repeaters for 10, nine. Find the buoyancy in the buttock, find the tone into the glute, 
five, four, three, two, hold it up there. We're gonna send the leg out, we're gonna pull it back in. The bottom, again, is made up of three muscles. So again, we wanna target all those muscles. We don't wanna keep doing the same thing. We wanna vary it each time. Arm four, and in. Arm three, and in. We've got two more, two, and in. Last one now. And we're gonna release it down, fantastic. And then just gently take the butters back towards the heels. From here, let's just gently come up. And again, in future weeks, I'm gonna do loads of tricep work and bicep work on all fours. But again, for the purpose of this taster, it's just giving you a little taster. I've done triceps in standing. So again, I'm gonna do that in future weeks. Some of my favorite exercises for really toning the arms. We're now going to come down onto your bottom. You're going to come down, all the way down. And again, I just want to work a little bit of articulation into the spine. I said I fiddle all my hair. So you're just going to come down and your feet are just hip width apart, knees up towards the ceiling, hands down by the side. Just to get a little bit of articulation into the spine, I want you to press into the feet and gently just rock the lower back into the floor. So this is just a little bit of spinal flexion in your lumbar spine, in your lower back. You can be quite nice and strong through the arms here. And then I'm just gonna work up into a Pilates spine curl where we press the feet into the floor. We gently melt the lower back into the floor and then we start to peel the spine spine up, vertebra by vertebra. And from there, we just start to melt the spine down again, vertebra by vertebra. And you'll probably feel that <laughs> I don't peel down every single vertebra. You might get a little bit of sticking again, where we have immobility within some part of the spine, and then we might have hypermobility around that. But again, it's just for you to, again, really get into your own body and realize you know what it can do what it can't do we're all going to have strengths and weaknesses in different areas and we will work through them each week and it doesn't matter so again you know some things you're going to enjoy doing other things you're not going to enjoy doing but sometimes it's like bad medicine the things that we don't like doing are the things that are good for us so again i always think this is a bicycle bicycle chain if the bicycle chain is well oiled we can peel up that bicycle chain link by link if it's not well oiled it's going to clunk up and down so again we're just going to peel down loads of variations with that spine curl. I'm then gonna work into your bridge. I'm gonna give you a nice basic bridge position. So again, working the buttocks, working the hamstrings, hands down by the side. We're gonna take an inhale. As you exhale, you press the feet into the floor. You send the thighs away from you. Fine tone into the buttocks. Again, not tension. And then release it down. And again, you press up and you release it down. Feel the work in the backs of the thighs. Be strong with the suckers on the feet into the floor. So you find, I like to say, buoyancy in the pelvis here as you lift up and as you release down. And again, we can almost imagine I know I've got stars on my, on my leggings today, but that there's eyes here. And then when you go down, the eyes go sleepy as you open the eyes widen. So we open up a little bit through those hip flexors. But find again each week where I'm telling you where you should be feeling it, you should be feeling it. The objective is the same for all of us. How we execute the move will be very different. We're going to do two more. You're going to lift and you're gonna lower, you're gonna do one more, you're gonna hold it up there, you're gonna do tiny little repeaters, again, pressing into the floor for five, four, three, two, one. Again, there's lots of technicalities in this in future week where you don't wanna lift up too much in the ribs and put tension into the lower back. I'm now gonna work with just one leg lifted. If we have discrepancies in the glute strength, this will even it out. And from here, we're gonna release down and we're gonna push back up. You're gonna release down and you're gonna push back up. Two more. Again, this is just a taster of some of the exercises. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna hold it up there. Tiny little repeaters, eight, seven, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release that foot down. If you want to take a rest, put the bottom down, but I'm going to keep going because I've only got half an hour in this taster session. And then you're going to release it down and you're going to push back up and down 
and lift back up. So we're working the glutes in a bridge position, but we're gonna be working the buttocks in so many different ways. We're gonna be working the abs in certain ways. Some weekly workouts will involve just the abdominals. Some weekly workouts will involve just the buttocks. Some workouts will incorporate everything. You can see equipment behind me. We're gonna use some of that equipment. We're gonna use the sofa, we're gonna use anything I can think of. We're gonna be tiny little repeaters here. So we're just gonna be inventive each week and we will do this journey together. So we're gonna do five, four, three, two, one, and release it down and let it go. It's a welcome relief. Take the thighs into the chest just to release the lumbar spine. And then we're gonna roll onto your side and I'm gonna give you just a few side lying exercises. So you're gonna turn onto your side and again, future weeks, we might want a little pillow if we find, I'm gonna talk all through that. I'm gonna use my hand as a pillow. I'm gonna look down and I'm just gonna bend my bottom leg to 90 degrees, the front of my shin in line with the front of the mat. I'm gonna lengthen out through my waist. So we're really not contracting into the waist. And this just gets into glute med, side of the buttock, sides of the thigh. I'm gonna engage navel to spine. I'm gonna push my hip away from me and I'm gonna lift that leg up and I'm gonna lower. And again, I'll talk about the different variations. I love sideline exercises where we lift and we lower. Again, I really think that they do work. We work again with that precision, lifting and lowering. It's never about how high you lift the leg. It's not wrong to lift the leg up, but for the objective of this particular exercise, we wanna keep the waist nice and long. We're gonna do tiny little repeaters. We're gonna lift, 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 lift. Tiny little repeaters. And you can really start to feel the warmth into that muscle. So you know that it's actually starting to do something for five, four, three, two, one. I'm then gonna extend my bottom leg. I'm gonna glue my legs together, draw the navel to the spine. If you wanna put the hands in front, you can do so to stabilize. And then I'm gonna lift up both legs and I'm gonna lower down. I'm gonna lift up both legs. So this is targeting the sides of the waist. So this is working the abdominals, the oblique sides. And again, we have three abdominal muscles and again, through the weeks, we're gonna really target all those muscles. You're gonna do four more, arm four. You're pressing your bottom leg to your top leg. So you're still gonna be feeling this on the top, onto the inside thigh and into the oblique sides. And I, as my classes and clients will always tell you that I, I love these ones. I really feel these ones work. And I'm gonna keep the legs lifted and then from here, you're gonna go into what I call the little zhuzhi. And again, these are a classic of mine. So I know they're probably technically not called the zhuzhi and I've renamed it, but it's now the, the Joe zhuzhi. So we're just gonna do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're gonna hold and then we're gonna release it down. So then unfortunately we have the other side to go. We are nearly there. So I'm gonna turn myself around and we're just going to, again, I'm gonna use my head, uh, my head, my, my hand underneath my head as a little bit of a pillow. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is lengthened and press the top hip away from you, shoulder away from the ear. And again, from here, you're gonna lift and you're gonna lower. So we're getting some warmth into the outside of the glute again, into the glute med as you lift and as you lower. Lifting and lowering. So again, each week we will vary and then do two more. And then from there, again, just do tiny little repeaters, lifting, 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 drawing the navel to the spine on eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, extend that bottom leg both legs together. Again, you can put that top hand in front to stabilize if you need to. And we're gonna lift and we're gonna lower. So we're working the sides of the waist again, lifting and lowering and lift and lower. Four more. So you really, again, I would tell you the objective of the exercise, primarily to get into the oblique side sides of the waist. But you might feel this through the outside of the thigh and into the inside thigh. Four more and down three and down, two and down. Let's hold it up there. Let's gently go into that little split scissor, the zhuzhi on eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and then let's release it down. Brilliant. Okay, we're now just going to turn over onto your back. Some weeks, again, depending on what we're going to do, some weeks, just find my mic pack, we will literally just do nice relaxation. So we're just going to just be on our backs now, and we're going to draw the thigh in towards the chest. Other foot just firmly into the floor, just gently clasp the hands behind the thigh, and we're just going to extend the leg and we're going to bend it. And again, I would just say to you, if you can't hold your hands behind your thigh, then that's we might want to get a towel as we extend the leg and we bend it. Just getting a little bit of length into the hamstring, just extending and bending. Just two more. You'll get used to my clicky knees as well. And just one more. And then bend and then just release it down. Just bring the other thigh in towards the chest. Nice and heavy on the tailbone. So we're keeping nice and long through the midline. And we're going to extend and bend, extending and bending. And we will do variation on stretches each week. So again, we will vary each single exercise. Just two more. We do moving stretches. We do static stretches. And two more. Arm one and two. And then I'm going to bring the knees into the chest, gently just rock side to side. And I'm just going to take my right hand on my right knee, left hand on my left knee. I'm going to bring the knees in towards me. So my lower back goes into the floor, the knees open and I send away. So I pull in, I open, send away, just two more. So this is a nice massage, both for the hips and the lower back, as we're moving the hip the ball of the hip in the socket and then we reverse it and we come around again just tiny snippets of what we will be doing and then we're gently just going to rock side to side I'm then going to ask you just to gently roll to the right and you're going to come to a sitting position and you will sit as is comfortable for you but I'm going to sit with my soles of the feet together my knees out to the side and it might be that at this position you might want to go against a wall if you're not happy in this free sitting position but again I will tell you all in the future weeks so we lengthen up through the spine ground it into the floor and I'm just going to take my right ear to my right shoulder and even this, for some of us, might be quite difficult because a lot of us do hold tension within our neckline. We drive, we're on computers, we read, we're like this. So again, I just want us to really open up and just think a little bit more about our posture. We're again, holding just the navel back towards the spine. I'm then going to take and roll the chin towards the chest and I'm going to restat the neckline to look up. And then I'm going to take opposite ear to the shoulder and again I'll talk all about the neckline we have problems with our shoulders the exercises that we need to do we've got each week to talk about it so and then from there I'm going to just gently take chin to the chest and look up and then I'm going to go into looking over my right shoulder into what I call the lifesaver. So nothing moves. And even for some of us, this is difficult because we move our whole body. We just want that beautiful rotation of the neckline. It's that blind spot when we're in a car. It's that putting on of a seat, but if we just look backwards. We move. We, uh, we always want to make things easier for ourselves, which isn't necessarily the correct pathway for our body. So we're just looking over the opposite side. And then we come back to the center. And that is a taster, a very, a very, very brief taster of what you will have within the weekly workouts. There will be every single week will completely vary. And as I said, we can use the water bottle for our weights, or if you've got weights, you can use weights. I'm gonna work with a ball, I'm gonna work with a cushion. I will work with the um, Pilates ring, um, but again, each week you haven't got to, I can give you the exercise if you don't want to work with that. I've got sliders here. In a few weeks, we might work the sliders, um, balls and bands. So every week will encompass different exercises. It's about doing this journey together and you will hopefully really get to know me and I'll get to know you from your comments 
and I just want you to enjoy it and I want you to each week really think, oh, I'm really looking forward to see what Joe's doing today and you will never regret it. You might think first, oh, she's going to work abdominals for half an hour or she's going to work the whole body for half an hour or she might be, it's a sweat one today. But I know that you will feel so much better for it and it will just become habit forming. And that's what I, I want you to, I, I want you just to really, well, yeah, to be habit forming and just to enjoy it. And for me to make you enjoy it, that is the, the thing. I've been in this industry a long time and I have got my clients that I've had years and years and years. And, you know, that's what it's about. You have to enjoy it. And hopefully that is my job first, first and foremost, that you enjoy it. So you want to do it. And then you feel so good about yourself. That's what it's about. Mentally, physically, feeling good and feeling well with the weight, weekly wellness workouts. I really hope that you enjoyed that taster session. If you scroll down now to the bottom of the page, you can sign up for seven days free trial. You will see all the back catalogue and you will see the weekly wellness workouts. I really hope that you enjoy them and I so look forward to working with you in the coming weeks and months and years ahead. Thank you.